Prince Andrew is um, facing severe calls from the United States to give evidence. Um, he had that car crash interview with uh, Emily Maitlis on, on BBC when um, apparently he couldn't remember having an arm round um, uh, that 17-year-old, um, Virginia Roberts, but was able nevertheless to remember exactly the time and date when he was at a Pizza Express restaurant in Woking. So I think people found um, his interview um, calamitous and, and unbelievable. And it's gone really from bad to worse. You mentioned he was frightened of extradition. Well, it's a little known fact. And I've put this in my updated version, which actually is out tomorrow. So your program is very well timed for me, uh, that he engaged um, the barrister who defended General Pinochet when he was um, uh, subject to an attempt to extradite him. So clearly he has that worry on his, on his mind. Now, uh, what would be the, there's no precedent for that. I mean, no uh, government has ever sought to extradite a member of the British royal family. Uh, so there's no, uh, there's no uh, case history, as it were. What would be his protection? in diplomatic immunity and so on. Does he have diplomatic immunity? Well, that's, a, that's an interesting question because he would do um, were he a, a serving member of the royal family, a working royal, as it were, although they don't work very much. Um, the question is whether that's still the case. Now he has stopped being a working royal. He has, however, retained his HRH status, as has Prince Harry, and that's not a, a, an insignificant matter. What it means is that uh, they can still claim, uh, for example, um, security support at public expense. They can claim travel at public expense. So even though they're not working royals, uh, they get that benefit, and they probably get the benefit of protection as well. So the answer is probably quite difficult to extradite him. But nevertheless, I'm sure the Americans would like to do so.